Successful People Habits. Successful people habits. So let's get going. The successful people have habits that are different, obviously, than the unsuccessful. You know, it's all about daily routines and habits and wealth, health, happiness and love, friends and family. So I'm going to go over my own experience, okay, and the experience of people that I interview and the mastermind groups that I belong with. And hopefully you'll get a lot of nuggets on how successful people change their habits. It takes about four weeks usually to create new habits. So let's get going. We'll look about the circle of habits. So forgive me for the terrible drawing, but let's go over this. You have daily habits, monthly habits, you know, for love, happiness, health, and all those circles, if you balance all those circles, they provide a balanced life, a successful life. So you don't want to be just successful in wealth and be super wealthy, but you suck in your family affair, in your friend's affair, or uh, you, you, you have no love, you have nothing, right? Uh, even worse, you don't want to be uh, balanced in all of the other ones, and you have a terrible health issue, okay? Because uh, I have news for everybody, uh, without health, uh, nothing matters. So thinking wealth differently with daily habits of the successful, daily routines, is to help people, you know, think differently. And, and, and it's not just about money, it's about an entire compass of having a balanced life. So. When you have your circles, you know, in line and balance, then you have a successful life and you, you are ready, you know, to create new successful habits. So if you want to change one of those circles, your wealth circles, your health circles, your friends and family or your love affairs, you have to ask those questions. Those questions are very powerful. It's the questions that I use all the time. They are from the book, Good to Great from Jim Collins. This is like a, a, a fantastic book where Jim Collins analyzed over the years why he made uh, American companies, some of the American companies, great versus good. And good is the enemy of great because over time, those good companies were out of business. You know, like Kodak was a good company, but it was not a great company and it was out of business. So Jim said to regiment your affairs on who, what, how, and when. But for your daily affairs, let's say you want to change something in your wealth. You have to say to yourself, what do I want to change? How do I want to change it? That's the game plan. That's action. And when you put a deadline on changing. Same on your health. Let's say you want to uh, lose 20 pounds. So what do you want to do? Lose 20 pounds. How? You are going to go at the gym five times a week. You are going to change your diet into, let's say, lean protein, less carb, uh, more regular meals, small meals, whatever it is, lots of intake of fluid. So you are going to put a plan. What, how, and when the deadline so that you keep yourself accountable. And that has helped me a lot in my life. You know, I came in the US, I had nothing. I had $1,500 and an American wife that I met in the US and I was still a graduate student. So I was still working in my uh, French business school to, be, uh, to graduate from my MBA, then, which I've never graduated. You know, I came in the US, I saw people succeeding in uh, Florida. I went in Florida, I saw a, a, a lot of Cuban saying in Florida, they were super successful and I said, you know what, if they can make it, I can make it. I didn't care about my accent. I didn't care about uh, my command of the English language. I just said, you know, you've got to have confidence. I changed my habits 
into being super confident and I've always been somewhat super positive. So when you're positive and confident, that helps you change those habits. Okay. So again, if you like any of those and you have a non-balance in those circles to have successful habits and to create the success habits of the successful people, what, how, and when do you want to change your habits, what habits, how, and when. Now there's a couple of other nuggets that I hope will help you. For me, number one, you got to love what you do in life. Okay, you got to be super passionate about what you love. You know, if you don't love, you go to a job, nine to five, you hate it, and you are not at your maximum potential. You are not the best version of yourself. You are not doing the life you are supposed to live in this earth. Well, try to find a side hustle, you know, a side business to try to monetize your passion and do what you love. Two, when I came in the US, the first thing I did, I couldn't find a job. I was sending hundreds of resumes and I took a community college class in uh, Fort Lauderdale and I had an awesome class, a business class from uh, uh, a teacher called, Doc, um, not doctor, but Mr. Singer. And that guy was awesome. You know, this is where I learned the concept of other people's brain, OPB, OPM, other people's money, all about the leverage. So I'll do, when it comes to successful habits, I will detail in another video those other people's brain, other people's habit, how it's super important for success to help you be successful in anything that you do. You know, other people's money, if you want to have wealth and, and leverage rate of returns that are not just rate of returns that you have at the bank that doesn't even match the rate of inflation. Other people's brain on every, everything that you do. If you want to build a business, you have to have a team. You know, you cannot do everything alone. Uh, in anything you, that you do, you want like experts, you know, an expert accountant, an expert attorney. You want people, you want to surround yourself with experts and use their brains when you do the brains parts that complements you. You know, you cannot be, I am not possibly knowledgeable in everything, but I recognize where and how and when I need help. Other people's brain, other people's money, you leverage. If you buy your house and you put 20% down and the value of the price, the, the value of the house is $100,000, you put 20,000 down and you have the bank financing 80%, 80,000, that's using other people's brain. You put 20, it's worth 100, it goes to 120, guess what? You just double your money. You know, your 20 became 120, you sell your house, you know, you pay the bank the 80, you double your money, okay? So other people's money, other people's brain has been a super huge concept for me to help my daily habits and always think in my daily habits as a successful person, as being in successful mastery group, how can I use other people's money, other people's brain, super important. Then passive income. You know, no matter what you do in life, whether you have a job, whether you have a business, whether you have, um, I don't know, real estate, you want to build enough passive income. For me, the passive income is to get you out of the right race. It's cash flow 101, like the uh, uh, Robert Kayazaki's game, where your daily passive income, your monthly passive income, sorry, needs to be superior to your monthly expenses. So if you have, let's say, rental properties, or you have dividend stocks coming to you, or you have annuity checks, or you have other things that I'll go in, in, in details in other videos about uh, daily success habits of the wealthy, right? You got to want to be to a point in your life where your passive income is superior to your monthly expenses. So if your monthly expenses after mortgage, car payment, kids' expenses, uh, your entertainments and everything is, let's say, $5,000, and all your passive income is over $5,000, let's say you bring in passive income $6,000, you are out of the red race, everybody. It means that without working, right, without going to a nine-to-five job, you have bring enough monthly income to pay for your lifestyle. 
When you achieve that, you achieve a first degree of freedom, you know. And that is super important if you want to master daily habits, you know, of the successful people. Now, in addition to that, you got to take responsibility for everything that you do, guys. Not 100%, but 200 freaking percent. Why? Because you don't want to go in this world and, and try to change your habits and try to be a successful person and then you go and you try but then you always blame someone else. You always move in life with the victim mentality. That is like the, the fastest recipe to fail in life. If you always take responsibility for everything that you do, everything that happens to you and you move along forward without getting this victim mentality, I promise you, you are going to go in your habits of being successful from where you are now to where you want to be that much faster. In addition to that, guys, you need to be confident, super confident. When you go out and you are confident and you are positive and you smile, people feel that energy. You're in a group of people. It doesn't matter if you are good looking, bad looking. Doesn't matter if you have a French accent like me, right? Doesn't matter if you are black, white, purple. What matters is how confident your attitude and how positive you are. That throws an energy, you know? Like I always look in groups like someone that has that energy, you know, that energy is contagious and you want to surround yourself with positive people, especially if you come from a tough environment and, and everything has been tough for you and you grow up in a tough, like nothing has been handed to you, that much more you want to seek positive, successful people. You know what they say, if you surround yourself with successful people, you become successful people. If you are around successful people that do successful, that have successful habits, eventually it, it'll be contagious. You'll get successful habits. And that's, that's key. You know, that's all about energy again. You know, like in what they say. And I'm sorry, this is my last page. That you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. So if you spend time with people that are not developing successful habits, successful daily routine, that are taking care of their health, that have game plans, that have clear actions, then you are not going. It's like a charge, like a battery. They are positive, 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 positive. Guess what? Most likely, you are going to be positive and you'll be positively influenced to have successful habits in every day. Now, before I leave you, it's all about taking massive actions. You know, you've got to work smart first and then work super hard. You know, you need, if you want to crush it in life, you need to work super, super hard. You know, nothing comes easy. You know, I don't know any business in which you are going to make money doing nothing. Eventually, like internet businesses and stuff that I'll show you, you can make money and passive income, even if you're on vacation 24 seven because you have a website, because this and that. But initially, everything takes hard work, okay? And to do and be successful, a successful person, and have the habit of, of having results as a successful person, the only thing that I know, me, is take goals. I have a 90 day goal plan, 90 day, three months, then monthly, okay, then weekly, then daily. Why three months? Because I know for business, we are being told, do a three year plan, do a one year plan. You know what? If you are not successful right now, and even if you are successful, three months, it's an attainable goal. You have a better vision of what's going on in three year, in three months. So three months, you backtrack, you put in line this three months goal in, the, in, the, in, in line with your monthly habits and your monthly actions, right? And your weekly actions and your daily actions. And last but not least also, a great book I recommend to everyone. I don't make any money. I put maybe a link directly to Amazon and you look for it. It's uh, the uh, one thing, the one thing from Gary Keller. It's a great book about 
If every day you come and you have a to-do list that overwhelms you, a lot of people get overwhelmed. You know, I used to go and I used to have like 20 items on my to-do. And at the end of the day, I look at my to-do and I'm like, oh, geez, I did only three stuff. And I have 17 not done. And then you get depressed. And then it, it, it goes and trickle for the next day. You bring the 17 items for the next day. That's, that doesn't work. What works is this. You have, let's say, six, seven things to do for the day. You have to look in those six, seven things, the one thing that if you do that one thing today, it's going to make everything unnecessary or easy. That's the concept of the one thing in the Gary Keller book to help people to be successful, to have successful habits. Start the morning. The mornings are the most important part of your day. And I'll do uh, uh, an entire segment just on successful habits and daily routines for the morning. But right now, just take that tidbit. Look at the stuff you're supposed to do. Review your to-do list or your goals in the morning. Circle in big the most important thing that if you do that thing, everything else is unnecessary or becomes easy. Start by that task and then trickle to the other task. Okay? And successful people take care of their body. They eat well. They do a, ma a lot of sports. You know, I go at the gym every day. You know, I do some type of exercise every day. Even if I don't go at the gym, I have some weights upstairs. I have a weight room. I can do my uh, uh, dips. I can do uh, squats. I can do dumbbells, whatever. Do sports. Eat well. Put good fuel in your body and start creating the habits of the, the successful, especially in the morning. The morning, from the time you wake up to about 2 o'clock, is the, the, the segment of the day where you have the most energy to give to the world to be the best version of yourself. So I hope this video helped you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the other video. If this video was helpful, as usually, please give, a, give us a like, Share this video to other people that you think might benefit from this video and I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone.